What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Devin and I hope that you will stick around and subscribe. And if you're not new, as always, welcome back. You know I love you. So today's video is going to be really fun. I have some goodies here from the ColourPop Secret Admirer collection. I'm trying to film this quickly because it's the Saturday before Valentine's Day when I'm filming this. I just got this in the mail this week. Um, so I'm trying to get this up before Monday, which is Valentine's Day. But I didn't pick up everything in the collection. So I picked up the palette. I picked up three of the blushes. And then I also picked up the Soul Body pressed what is this called the shimmering body powder I picked this up as well specifically because I wanted to try this as a blush topper which from watching other videos I feel like that's what a lot of people are doing with this so I didn't pick up any of the fresh kiss lip products I didn't pick up the little fourth ray duo and I didn't pick up the soul body like liquid shimmery body stuff either and then I also did pick up two more styles of the ColourPop lashes in this order because I really like the ones that I tried out in my it's a mood palette video and i wanted to try out some more so we're going to do a fun little valentine's day inspired look with this collection i'm really excited so if that is something that you're interested in then let's get right into the video all right so i've zoomed you guys in a little bit and i just realized after i zoomed in that i didn't show you the palette so here it is if you're interested the packaging is super cute i know it's just cardboard and it it needs to be thrown out, but I don't want to throw this out. It looks like a little love letter, which I just think is such an adorable detail. One of the reasons that I love ColourPop is for details like this with their packaging. Like, how cute. And again, I know it just gets thrown out, but like, it really sells it for me. I just... I love, I love a theme. I love a concept. I love a theme. I love design. I love all that stuff. So here's what the palette looks like. I mean... I feel like this is Valentine's Day in a nine pan palette, right? <laughs> you kind of cover all your bases. So it's obviously a very like pinky, pink slash pinky neutrals palette. I think it's super cute and I love the little heart shaped pans here. I really didn't even feel like I needed this palette. I'm not that into pink eyeshadow, but they got me with the theme and the heart shapes. It's funny because pink is my favorite color, but in terms of eyeshadow, it's not something that I like to wear often. Or even like lipsticks, I'm just much more of like a neutrals or like a bright red lipstick girl. But they really got me with just the entire theme of this collection, so I'm excited. So as always, I'm just going to start off with a primer. This is my P. Louise base in the shade Rumor 2. I'm not sure if you can hear the background noise, but... Sean's playing with the dog out there, so sorry if you can. If you can hear somebody talking like a baby, it's Sean talking to the dog. <laughs> Okay, so I don't have a shade to set my primer with this palette, so I'm just gonna jump into my Bare Necessities. I'm taking the shade Full Expose. You can also just use like your translucent powder or whatever, something close to your skin tone or like whatever you wanna use. I just can't do my eyeshadow without setting my lid down. It just throws my whole like operating rhythm off <laughs> if I do that. Okay, now this is kind of going to be a challenge for me because I'm just realizing that like none of my brushes are clean. <laughs> I need to wash them. So I'm really not sure that I have, like I kind of have an idea in mind, but I also kind of don't. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see what happens. So I think I'm going to start with this shade with love. I feel like that's the most obvious transition shade in the palette. So I'm just going to go ahead and work this into the crease. I think I'm going to do, a, I'm not going to try to do anything like super fancy today. I'm going to do kind of like my signature style. So I'm just working this into the crease and up onto the brow bone. All right, and then I'm going to jump down to the shade All Night, and I'm going to work that into the crease. I'm just not going to blend it up as high, and I'm doing this just to start building up the pink tone in the look. I mean, obviously the whole palette is pink tone, but that first shade was a little bit more neutral, and this one is a little bit more of that, like, bubblegum pink. Again, like, I don't usually do a lot of pink looks, but I've kind of been feeling the pink tones lately. I mean, I just did that look. Actually, it's probably going up after this. Last week, I filmed a look with the Smoke and Roses palette, but because of the timing of Valentine's Day, I actually think I'm going to put this video up first. So I do have another video coming with the ColourPop Smoke and Roses palette, and that look is also pretty pink. So I don't know. I guess I've been into the pink lately, but that's kind of unusual for me. I'm usually much more 
of a neutral tones. So I don't know, I guess we're switching it up. I don't know, that being said, now that I'm saying that, I'm like, I don't know, I also really like to play with color just for like, from a creative standpoint. So I just like, I feel like there are some people who like love pink eyeshadow, you know what I mean? All right, next I'm gonna take the shade of My Everything. This is on just like a little Sigma brush that I got for free with an order. It's their E55 eye shading. But just anything with a similar, just to show you the shape of the brush here, just anything with a similar shape like this that's gonna help you like pack it on. So this is gonna be our outer corner. And also I'm sticking on this one eye cause I'm gonna try to film a reel on the other eye. I never remember to do that when I'm filming. And you know, I'm working with limited time right now. So I wanna be able to get as much bang for my buck when I'm sitting down to film and do a look, you know what I mean? So I did kind of take that up onto the brow bone just a little bit. So I'm going back in with my blending brush. This is the one that I use the shade all night, but it doesn't have any extra product on it. I'm just gonna use it to soften. For the lid, I'm kind of in between like these two. I definitely want to put this towards the inner corner, but I'm kind of in between these two. You know what? Again, because I don't naturally like, you know, go for pinks too often. I'm going to go for this one in the middle. It's called Too Cute. I'm going to be honest, it doesn't look as metallic as like this one. So I kind of feel like this might be like the ColourPop shimmer formula that I don't love as much as like their metallic formula, but... What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pack this in right here, like right in the center of my lid. I wanna keep this space open for that like highlight shade because I like a really bright lid, but I still wanna have a little bit of fun with this look. And I will say like in terms of performance of these shadows, they're going on really easily. The mattes blended out really nicely, despite the fact that like pinks and purples can be a little tricky sometimes. I feel like I'm doing this look pretty quickly. I haven't really struggled at all. All right, and then for the innermost portion of the lid, I'm gonna take the shade in the mood. I'm gonna start with a brush. I might do go over top with my finger, but I actually really like this brush. It's from BH Cosmetics. It's from their like Say It brush set. So this is just gonna be on the inner corner here. Like it's not like the inner inner corner, but it's kind of like on the inner third of my lid. Okay, yeah, I am just gonna take my finger a little bit just to press it in a little bit better. I feel like with really foily shadows like this, sometimes it's just better to press it in with your finger. I feel like they crumble less. Okay, so now that we placed that shade, I do want to just go in with a little bit more of the pink shade. I'm just going to take a little time to blend those two shimmers together. Okay, so my last little step here for the eyes before I clean it up and do the other eye is I'm just gonna take the shade in the mood on a little pencil brush and I'm gonna highlight my brow bone. Probably could wait until after I do my brows for this, but whatever. <laughs> I can always touch it up if I need to. Cool, so now I'm just gonna clean up the edge. I'm gonna take my makeup wipe to do that. And I think I do kind of wanna snatch it with like a straight line, but I wanna leave myself a little bit of room to blend underneath this time so I can like connect it. So I'm not going to do this right at the outer corner of my eye. I'm going to do it a little bit below so that again, I have room to connect it with the lower lash line after I do the rest of my makeup. Okay, friends, I'm going to pop off of camera. I'm going to film my reel. I'm going to do the rest of my face makeup and then we'll come back to finish up the look. So I will see you in just a second. All right, guys, I am back with the rest of my makeup done except for blush and lashes and lips. So I want to finish up my complexion with blush really quick. So I didn't pick up any of these heart-shaped blushes last year. I know they were super, super popular. So when I saw that they were, and I actually kind of forgot that they did these already and then when they were announced this year I was like oh my gosh they are so cute I have to pick them up so I'm obviously only going to use one in this video because you know I'm not going to use three blushes in one look but I do just want to show you the three shades that I got really quickly just in case you're interested so this is the shade kiss and tell as you can see here uh, apparently this was the best seller from last year so this is the only color that they brought back from last year. and then the rest of the blushes in this collection are new shades I think and I do have to say I can tell why this was the best seller I mean this is 
pretty much my go-to type of blush shade, just like a neutral peachy color. But I also did pick out two more colors from the collection. So I also have the shade Let's Dance like this so this one is just a little bit more of like a vibrant still definitely a peachy color I love peachy blush I mean literally I'm I have this palette here that I'm using as my mirror this like peach palette from BH cosmetics I love a peachy blush it's just I personally think it's the most flattering on my skin tone and it's what I use the most often but just so you can kind of see side by side this one's a lot brighter this one's a little bit more muted, but they have similar undertones. This one I figured would be really good for when I have a little bit more of a tan and I need something a little bit brighter to pop against like a darker tone. And then this one I feel like will be pretty versatile for me, but also really great for when I'm more fair. Like today, I'm pretty pale today because I've been, I don't like the self tanner that I have right now. I have more coming in the mail on the way, but I've been too lazy to self tan because I just, I don't think it's worth it with the one that I have right now, so. Anyway, and then the third one that I got is this one. It's called Flirt Alert. And I was kind of venturing out with this one. I wanted to get more of like a cooler toned mauve blush. So you can see that's definitely the vibe here. Honestly, I don't know if you can tell in person, but I feel like it looks a little bit, as I'm looking at it, it actually looks slightly more almost purpley than pink you know what i'm saying like it looks a little bit more like a, of like a grayish purple that sounds bad when i say gray but i don't know maybe just because it's cool toned it looks more purple than pink to me but i mean i don't know i still kind of get the mauvey vibe so it's just not quite i think maybe it's just not quite the color that i was expecting it to be like when i saw it on the website but either way i don't mind and i actually because we went pretty pink with this look i'm thinking that this might be the blush that i want to try i went with less of a golden highlight today and more of like a pinky toned one which again like i lean a little bit more towards like warmer golden tones for my highlight so i'm thinking that this will be a fun color to try out and of course i didn't bring a blush brush what am i doing <sighs> all right so i'm just gonna go ahead and get a little bit of this on a brush and i'm just gonna apply that to my cheeks like so oh it's pretty i actually really like it i was a little again i just feel like it looks a little bit gray in the pan and i was worried that maybe it would look a little bit ashy on my skin but i actually really like it i think this brush that i'm using for blush is a little bit too big but it's okay yeah, that's a really pretty color, especially for a look like this. I feel like it matches really well. Cool. Yay. I'm pleasantly surprised by this because I was worried that I wasn't going to like it, but I do. So that's good. Okay. So I'm just going to put a little bit of eyeliner in my waterline. This is from ColourPop. It's their cream gel liner and it's in the shade Hustla. And it's actually kind of like a metallic-y like steel gray, but I don't know. I thought it would go well with this look. So I'm just going to pop that in my waterline. All right, and then I'm gonna go into my everything. This is on a JH42, and I'm gonna use this to smudge the shade along the lower lash line. All right, and then with the blending brush, I'm gonna take the shade all night, and I'm gonna use that to just smoke out the lower lash line. Okay, and then I think final step for the eyes before we do lashes, I'm just gonna take In The Mood one more time on my pencil brush, and I'm just gonna use it to really emphasize the inner corner. I know that we have this all over the lid already, but now that the rest of my makeup is done, I wanna like really get like the very inner corner here and then also kind of like drag it this way to kind of connect it on the lower lash line as well. I think that looks really pretty. A little shimmer on the lower lash line, I actually really like. Oh my gosh, guys. I forgot this. I forgot to do, I wanted to try this out as a blush topper and I forgot to do it when I did my blush. So let's do that really quick. So once again, this is the Soul Body Shimmering Body Powder. So technically you can use this on your face and your body. It's really pretty for like the decollete area if you have like an off the shoulder top or something in addition to using it on your face. I'm gonna use it as a blush topper. As you can see, it's just this beautiful kind of like peachy pink. It's actually called Pretty Peachy. That's the name of the shade, so. You know, 
fitting. So I'm just gonna use my same blush brush because I didn't bring my face brushes in here. I only brought my eye brushes. So this is the only brush I have in here for this. I love the smell of these too. It's like a tropical coconutty, like fruity scent. It's delicious. So I'm just gonna kind of brush it over top of my blush like so. And it just, it almost kind of just like connects your highlighter to your blush. I actually really like using a blush topper like this. If you're not somebody that likes glitter, a lot of glitter or shimmer or glow, you're not going to like something like this. I do love glitter and glow. <laughs> That's just my personality. So I love doing something like this because it just brings the highlight like all the way down your cheek. It definitely is kind of like, the glitter is kind of chunky. And I had one of these before. I think I broke it. Uh, so I don't have it anymore, but I feel like I kind of remember that being the case, but like, wow, look at how well that swatched. I actually feel like they might've updated this formula because I don't remember my, the one that I had before being this nice. Wow. This is too dark for me to use as a highlight, which is why I'm using it as a blush topper, but, but I would love to see what that shade would look like on like a skin tone that it would be more of a highlight on because it's stunning. All right, so as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I do have two new styles of, well, they're not new to ColourPop, but they're new to me because I just recently have tried ColourPop lashes for the first time. So I have this style. This is called Minx. And then I have this one, which is called Mommy. Really like those. They look super dramatic though. And I'm not sure if that's uh, the vibe for me today. So maybe let's do, let's try these. Let's try Minx and see how we do with those. They have this like nice round shape. That's my personal favorite style of lashes. So they have the taper on both edges and then they're the fullest and longest in the middle. For me, I find that to be the most flattering on my eye shape for the majority of the looks that I do. So I'm gonna pop these on off camera. I'll be right back. Okay, so for lip color, I think I'm gonna go with this combo right here. So this is my ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade Shot Clock. And then I have my ColourPop Fresh Kiss Lip Lacquer. This is in the shade Scotch Kiss. I really wanna try this because I haven't tried out this formula yet. So I'm going to line my lips first. All right, and now I'm gonna go in with the lipstick or lip lacquer, which again is the shade Scotch Kiss. All right, my friends, so here we are with the finished look. So obviously pink, very pink, um, a lot pinker than I am used to and definitely a little bit outside of my comfort zone, but that being said, I really like it. Honestly, especially this lip, I feel like I need to wear pink lips more. I always go for a nude and then sometimes a red. I very rarely gravitate towards a pink like this, like maybe a pinkier nude or like a more neutral leaning pink, but never usually like a bright pink like this. So as I'm looking at it, I feel like this lip color is like a slightly warmer pink than the eyes, but it still works. I mean, again, the theme is Valentine's Day. We're just going for it. We're just having fun playing with this collection. And I have to say, I did have fun. <laughs> so with all of that being said, that is going to be the end of today's video. If you have made it this far and you have not already subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button down below so that you don't miss any future videos from me. You can also follow me on Instagram. I am at DevDevGregs over there. And with that, I will catch you guys in my next video. Mwah. Love you. Bye.